Welcome back everybody. In this video, we will learn about propositional logics in Python. For that, firstly, we need to upload this logic.py file to our code. And the command you can see over here from logic import star, this is for importing all the methods and functions that are present in the logic library. So to work with the propositions, firstly, we need to create some propositions. Here, I am creating pqr as my propositions. This vars method you can see over here is used for creating propositions and it takes only strings as its parameters. Therefore, p, q and r are passed as parameter, string parameters in this. So after this, let's see what is a p. Now p here is a proposition as you can see. Same as the q over here and so is r a proposition now. Since we have the propositions with us PQR, we can work on some formulas using those. So firstly, see over here the formula 1. Here formula 1 is P or Q and not of P implies Q. This operator is for OR. This is the AND operator and this is the NOT operator and this is the implies operator. In Python, we cannot write actual propositional operators therefore we have overwritten them and all are present in the logic library therefore these are the operators used for or and not and implies so after this it is a formula one and when we check what is formula one now so you can see over here that formula one is a proposition where p or these are the operators of propositional logics actually so since formula one is a proposition now we can print its truth table using this print truth table method. So after this formula 1 dot print truth table, you can have the truth table of this formula 1. Now we are checking here is formula 1 a tautology. What a tautology means is in your truth table when all the logics turns out to be true, that is termed as tautology. So when we check this for formula 1 using is tautology method over here, it gives you true as your output because when you see here you can see that in output column all are true so therefore formula one is a tautology similarly we have created some more formulas like formula two and three over here using the operators end and shift and uh, as they are propositions now we can print the truth table for them here i am printing for formula two where you can see it is a combination of true and false. Now, here this equal to equal to operator is for checking whether two formulas are equivalent to each other. Here I am checking it with formula 2 and formula 3. Let's see what we get the output as. We get the output as true because when we see here formula 2 and 3 are logically equivalent to each other. Therefore, this turns out to be true. Now when I check this on formula 1 and formula 2, writing formula 1 equal to equal to formula 2, what I get the output is false because formula 1 and 2 are logically not equivalent to each other. Similarly, we can have some more propositions here like P and Q. It is a proposition now. So you can have the truth table for the same. This is a truth table for P and Q. This is P or Q expression which is a proposition now and you can also have the truth table for the same using the print truth table method and this is your truth table for P or Q. This is not of P and it is a proposition now so you can also have its truth table using print truth table method. Here in not of P truth table you can see when P is true not of P is false and when P is false the not of P is true. This is for the contradiction. Here this operator is for implies. So P implies Q is a proposition and therefore you can also print its truth table right here. This expression is for P implied by Q. So when this turns out to be a proposition, you can also print its truth table using print truth table method. And here you can get the truth table of P implied by Q. Now here you can see one method P dot if Q. P dot if Q is for P if and only if Q. See, this is a proposition and when I print the truth table of this, with the truth table, what I can see is when P and Q both are having the same values, I the output what I get is true. Like here, when P and Q are true, it is true and when P and Q are false, it is false. So, P if and only if 
q is when both the values are same the output is true now what i am checking here is whether p and not of p is a contradiction contradiction means when you get all the outputs in the truth table as false so it is true we can verify this using the print truth table method on the same see here you can see the false in output so p and not of p is a contradiction now here you can see another command formula 2 dot is contingency so here we are checking the contingency of the formula 2 therefore is contingency method is used for checking the formula what is the contingency it is neither true in all cases nor false in all cases as you we have seen in the truth table of formula 2 that it is a combination of true and false over here therefore it is a contingency and in the output you get as true so these were some basics on propositional logics hope this helps you thank you